What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of the Hasbro Transformers Prime First Edition Terracon Cliff Jumper. I have him here in uh, vehicle mode obviously, because that's what I'm going to start with. As you'll see it's just uh, molded in uh, red with uh, very few paint apps as far as details on the car. You got the usual grill and headlights which is nice. You got the little horn uh, setup up front which is made out of a soft rubber. Uh, wheels are all black with the tires. However, you do get some detailing here. Um, first of all, you'll notice the windows are clear purple, which is cool. Now, because the windows are clear purple, they've painted this red to match the rest of the color. But the, the good thing is that the purple from the windows still shines through through the top to make it look like it's got the dark energon thing going. Bunch of gashes here with nice uh, little tempo printing, very nice details here. You got a little bit of metallic purple going on, and you got some on this side here. I do like the details of the piping here, and it's got the Autobot logo here. And on the other side, it also has the little space for the Autobot logo, but it is not printed on this side. If we look underneath, you'll see all the robot bits that come together to form the Terracon Cliff Jumper. So, what we're going to do now is uh, transform him into robot mode. I don't have the original first edition uh, version of this. This is the only um, cliff jumper from the first edition I have. Although I do have the Terracon uh, cliff jumper, the, the Takara AM version one, uh, which is based off this mold, the first edition one. Uh, transformation is the same as the regular first edition. And I'm kind of skipping over a few parts just to make this video uh, quick and not too long. All right. There's a lot of cool, neat little transforming gimmicks that I like. I like the way everything just snaps together, folds in. Uh, transformation, I think, is actually really cool. One of my favorites in the first edition. I don't know how many of you noticed, but in my other Terracon, the car version uh, review, I did transform him wrong. I forgot to bring the uh, headlights around to the front like I'm going to do so right now. This folds and comes up to the front here. Forgot to do that to the other one, and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, uh, this one I did without instructions the first time, so it can't be that bad. Uh, so we'll take a look at the the figure now. I originally thought that I liked the the second version of this, the regular Prime version, the proportions, but I I think I like this one better. Um, the figure looks really cool with all the dark energon stuff going on. Uh, it just looks good all around. What I really like is the broken horn. That looks really cool, and he's got the purple um, light piping going on, which makes him a little bit more evil. And here he is with the Takara version, which just is completely, completely full of dark energon. And they're both great figures. They're the same mold. Um, I love the purple one because it's nice and see-through. Uh, if you want to see a review on that, I did one earlier on this same channel. But I do also like the regular red color of this Terracon Clip Jumper. Now to be fair, the other one looks very uh, undetailed because I have not applied stickers. So this set does come with stickers that you can put on the chest and everything for the Dark Energon. But I chose not to do that. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or comments, or if there's anything I forgot, please let me know. And until next time, bye bye.